Hi, uh, John Persico here at the Strategy Innovation Channel. Last week, we talked about the third of the three major concepts that I said you need to address for a great strategy. This third one was the paradigm shifting, creating. So we had talked about paradigm breaking, paradigm shifting, and paradigm creating. This week, I want to look at strategies for creating a great company that are much more focused and specific. Right now, I'm going to discuss a strategy, a model, that I created for a sustainable and successful organization that wants to do business in the 21st century. Now, back in the 1970s, there was a model called the 7S model, developed by McKinsey Corporation, which actually was developed by two of their professors, Peters and Waterman. They were two consultants with McKinsey. They developed this 7S model by studying effective organizations, and they described it in what I call the, the now iconic business book of all times, probably the most iconic, maybe outside of Dr. Deming's Out of the Crisis, but it was called In Search of Excellence. And this was a great book and it was a great model. However, it is still useful. In fact, as George Box, the famous statistician, professor from University of Wisconsin once noted, all models are wrong and some are useful. So somewhere along the line, I decided to create uh, my own model for success for a 21st century company. And this is based on my observations from working with over 40 different corporations from government to military to private for profit to some nonprofits. And I call this model the 5I model. I called it that because it includes five key factors that an organization must address for success. And each of these uh, factors start with an I, hence the term 5I model. These five factors are improvement, innovation, incentives, uh, inclusion, and uh, innovation. This week, I want to say a few words about improvement. Each week, for the next four weeks, I will cover one of the other key factors. First off, a little disclaimer here, let me say that you cannot achieve longevity, sustainability, and profitability unless all of these factors are addressed. So, let's start with improvement and what you need to think about. For the sake of argument, I'll assume that your attitudes towards improvement are somewhat like mom, God, and apple pie. I'm gonna assume it's one of your fundamental bedrock values and hardly a week goes by that you are not considering the issue of improvement in your organization. However, and here's a very, very important question. Are you continuously improving or are you continually improving? This is a critical question with a critical distinction. Many good organizations are continually improving. Great organizations, though, are continuously improving. Uh, to quote Dr. W. Edward Deming, 95% of changes made by management today make no improvement. This was from his book, The New Economics, uh, written in 1994. A system created for continuous improvement will not look like a system created for continually improving. The uh, continuous system of improvement starts with a mindset. In fact, it's, that Dr. Deming would have said it starts in the boardroom. And it requires a different way of looking at things. It isn't a stop and start system. It's the idea that improvement never stops. And in order to accomplish this in an organization, you need to have a structure for this. Now, the seven S's of Peters and Waterman, if you're not familiar with this, can be used to structure continuous improvement. However, you cannot just tweak a few systems and move from continually improving to continuous improvement. This is going to require a major paradigm shift. And, of course, that's where external help comes in. And that's where I come in. Now, there are a lot of good consultants out there. And if you want to know about more about how I personally can help your organization move from continually improving to continuously improving, then please give me a call and let's discuss this. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Next week, we will talk about innovation. So for more information about how I can help your organization, please call me at 612-310-3803 or email me at persigo.john at gmail.com. 
I would love to hear from you and discuss some of these issues with you further. Well, that's all for this week, and thank you for tuning in.